The loud cheers from the Kansas City crowd turned into a low hum as Taylor Swift huddled backstage, her tears making the victory party hard to see. The game result, the Chiefs had earned a hard-fought win, didn't move her. What moved her was the raw vulnerability on Travis Kelsey's face during his post-game interview. The crowd erupted just now when the star tight end, Kelsey, grabbed the microphone. His normally loud and cocky voice was shaking as he looked around the stands and finally met her eyes. This one's for Tay, he said, his eyes still on her. You said you believed in the climb, and tonight we both did it. There is a higher top, though. I promise I'll get you that ring with you by my side. Taylor held on to the back of a chair as the weight of what he said hit her. They had been dating for two years, but their relationship moved quickly because of his busy NFL schedule and hers. Of course, there had been rumors in the press and even among their close friends. But Travis had become her rock because of his contagious joy and unfailing support. And tonight, he told everyone what he was going to do. His promise echoed through the huge stadium, showing how much they loved each other. As the tears came back, they were a mix of happiness and shock. His words, which he said with such tenderness while everyone was celebrating, had cut through her barriers. She knew he wasn't just talking about a bowl ring. He was making a promise of forever, a future they had only talked about. The changing room door squeaked open, and Travis came out with a shy smile instead of his usual cocky swagger. When he saw her, he looked less angry. He said, hey there, but his voice was quiet. Did I, uh, did I lay it on a bit thick out there? Taylor wiped away the last of her tears and shook her head. A weak smile formed on her face. She said, no, Travis, and her voice was heavy with sadness. You just, you promised to always love me. By making the most noise possible. Travis laughed, and a look of relaxation spread across his face. Taking two long steps across the room, he grabbed her and held her close. He spoke into her hair, forever is what I want, Tay. But hey, if a ring helps seal the deal. The sound of her laughter was filled with joy that was brighter than any title trophy. There was a promise whispered in the cheers, a promise that would last forever in the raw vulnerability of a love stated. At that moment, the crowd's roar was just a distant echo. The luxurious changing room in Kansas City was very different from the storm that was building up in Taylor Swift's eyes. Her normal sparkle was toned down, and her bright red lip turned into a soft stain. Travis Kelsey, her NFL boyfriend, stood across from her. Instead of his normal loud laughter, he had a worried look on his face. Just now, the party after the game was exciting. The star tight end, Kelsey, was the hero as the Chiefs scored a hard-fought win. But as the crowd spread out, there was a quiet gravity between them. Kelsey knelt down in front of her and put his big hands on hers. Tay, he said with a heavy heart, getting drafted was a dream come true, but winning this with you by my side, that's pure magic. A choking sob came out of Taylor's mouth. The title trophy shining on the table was hard to see because of the tears that were coming up. Kelsey wrinkled his face. What's wrong? What did I say? She shook her head, and tears started to come out. She wiped them off with a shaking hand and told him, what you said is beautiful. But, she said, but her voice broke off. Kelsey felt his heart clench. He knew that little, but often meant a storm was coming. But what, babe? She took a deep breath and said, this way of life keeps us apart. I'm on tour around the world, and you're here working season after season. We hardly have time to breathe, let alone. Her voice hitched, be together properly. Her words weighed a lot in the air. I got it, Kelsey. Their fast-paced relationship, which was driven by late-night FaceTime calls and stolen moments, was beginning to fall apart. Kelsey smiled slowly, and the corners of his eyes showed that he was up to no good. He took out a small satin box from his duffel bag. Taylor took a deep breath. Could it be? When Kelsey opened the box, a pretty diamond necklace came out. The pendant wasn't flashy or celebrity style, it was a simple, beautiful design of two rings that fit together, one with a tiny football on it and the other with a tiny guitar on it. Taylor's cheeks were wet with tears again, but this time she had a huge smile on her face. 
Travis. She whispered, her voice rough from feeling. Tay, we may have different dreams, he said in a soft, rough voice. But this, he tapped the necklace, is a promise. We promise to always be on the same team, no matter what life throws at us. As Taylor wrapped her arms around him, the roar of the empty stadium faded into the background. She knew with all her heart that this promise, like their love, would change everything. The loud cheers of the Kansas City crowd turned into a low hum as Taylor Swift huddled backstage, tears running through her carefully applied makeup. In her hand was her phone, which showed a picture of her boyfriend Travis Kelsey, naked and happy after his team won the Super Bowl. But it wasn't the party that made her makeup streaky. There was the interview after the game playing over and over. Travis is not usually one to speak much, so everyone was surprised when he gave an emotional speech. It was hard to hear because his speech was so emotional. This is for Tay. You always told me I could fly, and tonight I did. This ring is just the start, honey. We're not backing down. Taylor's eyes filled with tears again. Travis, the tough, stomping tight end, washed his face in public, expressing his love and promising a future better than the Lombardi trophy he was holding. Her heart hurt from a strange, unsettling fear mixed with pride. Taylor? A soft voice woke her up from her thoughts. It was her stylist, and her face was filled with worry. Taylor faked a wet smile. Just some nerves before the show, she mumbled as she wiped her cheeks. That the truth was a mess. There is no doubt that Taylor loved Travis. But his job, which was his passion, was going up and up. Did she belong in that world of screaming fans and hard training? A world where they were often physically separated and could only talk to each other through stolen FaceTime calls and longing texts. She took a deep breath and pushed her doubts aside. Travis's love was a gift, a lovely statement that should be treasured. As she walked out on stage into the lights, she forced a smile as the music pumped through her body. When the first chords of her song played, she gave the show her all, putting all of her feelings into her music. Later that night, after the last reprise, Taylor went backstage and saw Travis waiting for her. He smushed her in his arms and his cologne mixed with the smell of success and sweat. After a while, tears came back, but this time they were tears of joy because of a love that would last through any storm. Wow, you were amazing, Travis said in a low voice. Taylor leaned into him and felt better in his hug. When she heard the music and the crowd's roar fade, she knew that their journey, even though it might be full of unknowns, was beautiful and a love song just ready to be written.